Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 52 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam and try to spam yourself. Okay, as if you something, let's just dive right in. So this insurance policy I'm gonna denote as X has a deductible of two. So that means the Y, which is the payment, is equal to x minus 2, right? Okay, and the probability that insured will incur a loss is 0.05. So, 0.05, if there's a loss, so it's 0.05 times this whole thing. If there's a loss, the probability of a loss amount of n, where n is defined as 1 through 5, and k, a constant, has this distribution right here, k over n. And so then n can only take values 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So then their probabilities are going to be equal to, so this is actually x value here. It's the equivalent to saying the x value is equal to this. And so the probability of the x value is going to be just k over n. So this is going to be k over 1, k over 2, k over 3, k over 4, and k over 5. And we all know all probability has to add up to 1, so we know that k over 1 plus k over 2 plus k over 3, 4, and 5 must add up to 1. So I'm going to factor out the k and add all these numbers together. 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 4 plus 1 5 is equal to 1. k times 137 over 60 is equal to 1. So then k must be equal to 60 over 137. So we can actually rephrase all these probability as 60 over 137, 60 over 137 times two, divide by 2, and whatnot, so on, so on. But the actual y value, I'm actually going to scoot this down. The y value is going to be x minus 2, right? But then we can't have negative payment where payment is not going to give the money for the amount, so this is going to be 0 as well. So then 3 minus 1 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2, and then 5 minus 2 is 3, so these are expected values, and we know expectation of y is just equal to y times the probability of y, so then this I added up here is going to be equal to, and this one, like, it is negative 1 when you technically do 1 minus 2, but like, think of it like this, like, if you have an accident that has 1,000, 1,000 is definitely less than deductible, so all the money is coming out of the customer's pocket, so the insurance company itself is paying zero. And that's the same thing for two. If it losses two, the customer is paying the whole thing, so this is going to be zero as well. So then the expectation of y is equal to y times the probability of y, so then this is equal to y, which is thir 1, times the probability of that, which is k over 3, where k is equal to 60 over 137, so it's 60 over 137 times 3 plus 2, this is equal to 60 times 137 times 4 plus 3 times 60 over 137 times 5. And then remember, this whole thing is actually multiplied by 0 0.05 because that's the probability. Like this is only an expectation if an accident happens. So this is 0 0.05. Before we plug it into a calculator, we can simplify a little bit by factoring out 60 over 137 out. The less thing you have to tap into the calculator, less mistakes, and also a little bit better and a little bit quicker as well. So this is one third plus two fourth plus three fifth, which is equal to 0 0.03138. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.